Hello everyone, welcome back to the Scrap and Stamp YouTube channel. It's Jess here and today we're going to be shaking it up with scrapbook adhesives and lawn fawn. Here's a peek at the products we'll be using today. Button Galore's Barefoot Beach Sequin Mix, Scrapbook Adhesive's 3D Foam Creative Sheets, Lawn Fawn's Happy Hugs and Giant Sending Hugs, Pattern Paper, and a sheet of vellum and transfer foil. As always, I'll have all the links in the description box below. Let's get started. First up, we have these two adorable mice and we're gonna color them in using Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers. The two colors I reached for are the Ice Gray Blend and Coral Blends. When I'm coloring small images, I like to go from darkest to lightest, moving between colors in small circular motions. Next up, we're gonna create the shaker element using vellum paper measuring five by six inches and scoring at the half an inch mark all the way around. Once we reinforce the score lines with a bone folder, we're going to trim off the edges so we can adhere to pattern paper. Now it's time for the fun part, adding the sequins. I'm gonna go a little crazy and add lots, but you can add as much or as little as you like. To secure our sequins, I'm gonna adhere the edges we created to a four by five inch piece of pattern paper. Next, I'm gonna reach for my brand new Scrapbook Adhesives Vellum Easy Runner, and I'm in love. It goes on smooth and hides the glue when using vellum. Now that our shaker element is all ready, we can work on decorating our card front. I went ahead off camera and die cut Lawn Fawn's Sending Big Hugs with Scrapbook Adhesives 3D Foam Create Sheets. To add foil, I removed the release paper and evenly applied pressure to ensure a smooth transfer. With our sentiment all set, it's time to assemble the card. I'm going to adhere the shaker pouch to our card front and then add our foiled sentiment. We can't forget to dot our eyes. With our sentiment in place, we can go ahead and add our mice. And of course, no card is complete without coordinating sequins. And here's our finished card. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.